Hi family, welcome to the channel once again. My name is Brother Prince and welcome to the channel. Today we have another amazing sermon once again from Pastor Chris. In this sermon, Pastor Chris shows biblically the difference between a carnal person and a Christian. There's a big distinction between us and it will marvel your family. This sermon is really going to touch your heart. But before the sermon, please help spread this preaching, the word of God, by you clicking on the like button right now. Click on it right now and help us spread God's word across the entire world. And two, before when the sermon ends, I'll come in for us to discuss what we've learned so far. Thank you for clicking on the like button and subscribing. Let's us listen to the sermon. 17 into 18. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life. Remember, God's talking to Noah here. And then he says, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee. <laughs> hey, but with thee. a difference but with thee with thee everybody say with thee but with thee will I establish my covenant oh my with thee will I establish my covenant God says I'm going to destroy everyone else but with you a flood of economic disasters coming a flood of hunger is coming. A flood of penury is coming. A flood of poverty is coming. But with you will I establish my covenant. How can God do it? Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Ah, to do what? That he may establish his covenant. Now, God says, and listen, he says, it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant. In other words, if God is going to establish his covenant, he will give you power to get wealth so that the covenant will be established. That means power to put. He's talking about, he looked at the whole world. It was corrupt. There was violence. There was wickedness. He said, no, with you, I will establish my covenant. What does that mean? It means you will produce righteousness. You will produce righteousness. I'm going to join myself with you so you can produce righteousness in your environment. Now he says, he gives you power to get wealth so that you can produce righteousness. You can establish the covenant, establish righteousness, establish the presence of God in your environment. How can God deal with the corruption? How can God deal with the violence? How can he deal with the wickedness? By giving you power to get wealth. That he may produce righteousness. Lastly, when David got a hold of this, you know what he called it? He called it precious seed. What made it precious? It was what he could produce. It was what was inside the seed. Powerful family. Wow. <laughs> What a wonderful and powerful summer from Pastor Chris once again. He gives us the power to make worth family. So this is what uh, distinct a Christian from a worthy person. With you, you see, you are different. The world can go through turmoils, can go through financial crunch, a financial downfall but you we are different you see by the light and the salt of this earth you know we make the world complete we transforms and changes the world now in the account of noah 
you see that the world, the Bible says that the world was very sinful and the sin of men came before him, right? So the only way God wants to deal with man is to bless him, right? Give him the power to make worth. Now, as Christians, we also have the same opportunity. God wants to give you the power, won't give us the power so we can establish him and establish righteousness on this earth. But how can this be done? It is true the power to make worth. As Christians, we need to open businesses to employ the worldly so we can transform through them. Christians, we need to be so worthy that our riches or our prosperity will transform the lives of those in the world. We need to open the, the big factories, you know, open the big hospitals to establish the righteousness on this earth. That's why we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of this world family. We are here to establish the power of God. We are here to establish the righteousness of God. But it's true what the power to make worth. As Christians, we need to employ people. We need to be the bosses. You know, we need to be the CEOs. We need to be the managers. That is our calling. That's why God wants to establish his righteousness on earth. But he can do it with the power to make worth. As Christians, let us employ and pray for the support to make worth. It will really, really transform our lives as Christians. From there, God bless you. If this summer was a blessing to you, take the like button, help us support this channel so this channel grows. I will see you in the next video. God richly bless you.